on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about POE and how you can manage a POE environment in your place of employment, at your house, anywhere you want to go. So let's get to it. But first, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button for me. Please like this video if you find, find it helpful. So I've got a Cisco 2960 switch here. Um, got some PoE devices attached to that, so I'm going to do a show power in line. Get that command memorized. Show power in line, right? So that's going to show you how many watts you have available, right here. It's going to show you how many watts that you've used and how much is left. It's also going to show you all the interfaces with the devices, and if it's got a CDP name, then uh, it will let you know that as well. So here I've got an MR33, it's drawing 12, 12 watts of power, I've got an 8811 phone, 6.5 watts, and a Cisco 7941 old school phone with 12.9 watts. And you can see here, this phone is a class 3 device, this phone is a class 2 device, and this MR33 is a class 3 device as well. The difference between class 2 and class 3 is that class 3 draws 15.4 watts of power at full class 3 mode and class 2 pulls like 12.41 or tw like 12 and a half, 12 watts of power. So there's only like 3 watts of power difference between the two but 3 watts across 23 ports if you have a 24 port switch, port, uh, 24 being your uplink so 23 PoE devices. I mean that's 72 watts, um, so that makes a huge difference if you have 23 class 3 versus 23 class 2 devices on your, your network. Um, so let's, let's explore why that's important. So with class 3, let's just do a uh, calculator here. So if you got a 24 port switch and you have 23 devices, whoops, 23 times 15.4 that's pretty close to your 370 watts you have on your 24 port switch. So that's why it's important. That's that's why you really can't go over 15.4 watts. So in a lot of environments, if you don't have a device that actually will negotiate true classes, you might come over here and do a show power in line, and you'll see that you have a device that's actually got like 20 watts on the interface, and you put 20 of those devices um, you're at tw 20 watts times 20, so you've got 400 watts of power and you only have 370 watts, so you'll have a zero, uh, I'm sorry, you'll have 370 here, 370 here, and zero watts remaining, and then you'll start running into power problems. Um, the good news is the power for the PoE is separate apart from the power for the switch, so that's always good news, so if you run out of PoE power, that doesn't impact the actual switching capabilities of the switch. Um, so anyway, one thing I'd like to show you, uh, if you do have that problem, you can set a global command. So if you do configuration terminal, you can do a uh, power inline um, consumption default, like 5000. Okay, so be, uh, I'll show you here, with the question mark, but you can set it to, you know, to 15.4. Um, be careful though, because if all of your devices, um, I, I, yeah, so the, I mean, well, actually, you really can't be careful because if you set them all to 15,400, then you're never going to go over that 15.4, which means you're never going to uh, go over your POE wattage. So, it could be a good default setting. Um, the only problem with that is if uh, it is, I don't, I think the local interface, I'll show you another command, um, interface, big. Uh, zero. Uh, if you go into this interface and you do uh, power inline consumption max, oh, sorry, not consumption, power inline. I think it is consumption, no. Power inline port. Yeah, 2x mode. There you go. Sorry, had a had a brain fart for a minute. If you go to 2x mode, um, that actually sets twice the power on the interface, and I think that overrides the global command. So I think you'll be okay. So it'd be a best practice just to go ahead and set that default 
um, power in line consumption, thousand power um, across all interfaces. Um, so that's uh, that's two commands. So your your show power in line, and then your two X mode. Um, another thing I want to show you is um, go into the interface and do a power in line max. No, nope, sorry, power in line. Oh, static max. <coughs> okay, so what this does, if you have power in line static max set, and you say you don't want 6,000, that, what that's going to do is, first of all, it's going to take my switch down because it doesn't have enough power. Um, so I'm just showing you this. I'm sorry, not my switch, my access point. Um, so it's denied power because the insufficient total amount of power uh, does not meet. So if you go back up here and you look at the power, so it had uh, actually needed 12 watts of power. So all I got to do is go up here and say 12,000, right? And then, uh, do show power in line. Okay. Now, this one is up. Should be coming back up. Do show power in line. Interface. Actually, one. All right. So now it's getting it's it, it's admin. So now, so there's there's two things. One is um, auto uh, st and static. Um, maybe I didn't give it. Maybe it has to be more than that. Let's try thirteen thousand. Power in line, static, max, 13,000. Let's give that a shot. So it should be coming up here in just a minute. Um, but anyway, so if you go back up here, the admin, you have, I've now set a static entry for, for power consumption. Um, but I can also set an auto. Um, that's by default is auto. Um, whenever you set, whenever you set, Static that overrides any auto functionality that you would have had. Um, so <clears throat> anyway, so <clears throat> if you look here, still having some power inline issues. Um, but so let's just do a um, let's do a show log. See if there's anything in there. Just basically what it is there. So um, let's change that back to fifteen thousand four hundred. Uh, interface gig one zero one. Power in line static max fifteen thousand four hundred. Oh, and here you can set thirty thousand milliwatts of power. Power granted, so I guess it needs. Uh, it probably needs fifteen thousand four hundred watts to get booted up, and then once it's there, it drops down below. So let's actually investigate that a little bit. So let's do a show power in line. I do show power in line. Ah, see, that's the issue, right? It's now at fifteen point four watts to boot up, and then so if you if you set all the devices to have only have like you know six watts six watts of power they may not be able to boot up now you can do that after that but you'll have some issues whenever they restart because that initial power on you may need more than the total power it needs to run while it's just steady while it's already online so um just uh just be careful keep that in mind um we'll check that here in just a minute but we should be down back down to 12 from 15.4 watts because it is a class three device. Um, so just um, yep. So now we're we're learning the device names from CDP. So we should be back around to 12 here momentarily. So um, here's the things that I covered. First thing I covered is power inline commands, being able to look and see if something's static, auto, available wattage, used wattage, and remaining power. Uh, the next thing I covered was kind of the difference between class three and class two. So class three is 15.4 watts, class two is like 12 and a half ish watts. Um, and here also your max, and this is this is why you run into an issue. 
your max power on an interface is actually set to 30 watts and that's why some devices are able to go above the class 3 15.4 watts of power and use like 20 or 28 power 28 watts of power because they just think that they absolutely need 28 watts of power in reality they need like four um, so I have ran into that issue or you have you know like a 48 port switch you got 740 watts of power which is a lot of power but you've got you know 30 devices I think that they need 20 watts of power and now you're at 600 watts on 20 devices and you still got to power 23 more devices so you have <laughs> quite a bit of an issue regarding um, power and those were all cameras that had that issue um, so anyway it's a good idea set for that scenario set the power in line consumption default to 15,400 that way you don't have you don't run into these problems um, you know go here power in line consumption default 15,400 there so now we show power in line and we're still at 15.4 up here but uh, in general now you're gonna say all of these devices are 15,400 um, that's it so then that should that should remediate that issue so um, I have ran into problems with PoE over that. Um, so that's a, just a general good best practice best best practice to set that that command on Cisco switches. Um, if you want to double an interface, just go do that max mode um, interface gigs or your slash. I'm gonna touch on five here. So um, let's see. Power in line static max. No, it's not max static. Uh, where was that? Port. Yeah, port two X mode. Boom. So now you show power in line. So didn't really change here. Power level on the port to two X mode, so that way you have up to sixty watts available. I don't recommend that too often, but sometimes you need it. Um, some little thin clients that are able to use like something like UPoE. Of course, this is just a PoE plus switch, uh, not U UPoE, but um, there are some devices out there that may need the 2X mode, or you may be in a situation where you might have to use it. I've never personally had to use it. Um, most devices don't require over 15.4 watts, but you may have an outdoor AP that you know may need 30 watts of power or something like that but um anyway if you um if you like this video you like this content please subscribe to my channel please like this video uh if there's something else that you want to see something you want more in depth on like i don't know how do you configure virtual switching systems or um you know i've got videos on bbc domains and how to configure that um i think i got a couple videos on um Bex's, but uh, got quite a bit of content out there um, didn't really find any good videos out there on a lot of things so decided to just try to make my own and make some with with the notes and a lot of the videos I have are just relative notes for me just to go back and look at um, so I find them useful uh, if you find it useful subscribe to my channel like this video share this video let me know in the comment section below what you really want to see, what you want me to do, and I'll try my best to, to make a video on that. Anyway, have a great day. Let me know what you think.